Okay guys, I wanted to show you something. This uh, exo chest piece is something that I looked into and I made, and what it does is it boosts up my default damage. So if you guys remember, uh, before I had a problem one hitting zombies. These guys are full hit points, but now with my exo chest piece, I'm pretty sure if I built the armor right, oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, I did not build the armor optimally. You know, I only needed a half heart of damage, and so if I hadn't wasted a bunch of quartz, I would replace it with a little bit something more optimized and maybe gave myself uh, a run boost with it or extra hit points or something. They're fairly flexible, although there doesn't seem to be anything in the game itself that tells you what they do. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, Exo Chess Piece. Might end up being part of my Wither Hunting gear. I'm not entirely sure. The extra damage that it gets is really gives is really, really nice, but the protection from the Wither, yeah, that might be worth getting. I'm not sure. Eat a very weird colored lime. Um, as you guys saw from the opening bit, I just been letting these guys run, doing a good job of it. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Yeah, there's enough glowstone around there to uh, even when it's dark make a couple of trees spawn. So uh, yeah, it's a decent tree farm. Keep it running. Keep it going in the future. Plenty of wood. Which brings us to today's project, and that I'm hesitant about, because I can definitely hem and haw and build it, but it's just going to take me a while, because it's going to take a lot of experimentation. I have myself a nice little bag of goodies with a lot of different colors of stuff. I went out on a big clay hunting expedition. I thought I was going to use netherrack, which is why there's a ton of netherrack in here, but then I made a build with the netherrack as Savage Matt, and it don't look too good and um that's sad so uh yeah i'm gonna not use netherrack <sighs> i'll have to find another place for it. i like the block it's just you know even with the chisel it's still got it's still too netherracky but i do like how you can break it easily but i suppose that's not a great thing because uh most recently I was using, um, what's it called? Things. I was using, uh, the asphalt that my brother was using for the thing. Let's see, what is that? What does that look like? Nope, nope, what if I put it up here? No, what if I put it up against here? No, hold on, you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm not very impressed. Do I need a hammer? I might need a hammer. Anyway, uh, I'm going to work on this for a little bit and try and get the general shape that I want. Uh, the asphalt, as I was saying, uh, broke really easily, and so it, when a creeper blew up on it, as creepers do, it took out a bunch. So uh, it was always really annoying, and I had to fix it. So anyway, I'm going to get building a little bit, and I will see you here in a beat. Okay, guys, I got... The basic method figured out of how you do this. First, you drop down a carpenter's wedge slope here, and in the inside corner, you get another thing with an extra corner bit. You get that in there, and you have to smack it with a hammer so it goes on right. And then we get more of the wedge slopes, and we come here, and here, and here. And then another one of these dealies. You have to smack it with a hammer so it rotates around. Um, that one's going to just be one of them. Smack it with a hammer so it comes around. And it's going to be that in the front. And um, I'm short a little bit. And that'll be that. And that'll be that. And that'll be that. So that is the first layer done. And uh, that's basically how I'm going to do it. I'm kind of looking for, looking, trying to make like a roundish pot thing. Like it'll go, you know. Whoop. like that so that is I'm not sold on the door yet so that's you know well let's do this 
Let's do that at least. And um, I need to get rid of you. That seemed like a smarter idea at the time. Nope. Uh, yeah. 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 There you is. Um. Let's do that in there and that in there. Stick back on that. That in there. Let's do a bunch of that in there and a bunch of that in there. Put that back. And just one stack of that. Is that everything's sweet. Um. So I put one of those right there. So it curved in. Three wide seems a bit too much. So we're going to go there. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. And then what if I just went... What if I just went like this? Bam. Nah, I don't like it. I don't like that. Um, what if I went like that? No, no, I had it like that, and like that. I have an idea now. I have an idea. Um, nope. Okay, come on. Okay, you know what? Break that, and then just go bam, bam. And what we'll do is we will make a um a ladder coming up like this and it'll look all snazzy because I think I can actually use like ladders on it or something and make it look uh, really cool and then that'll lead in here and then there'll be like a basement level yeah that's what we'll do uh, I'm gonna work on that a little bit more now that you guys see basically what you have to do with these tools um, yeah I'll uh, come back once we start doing anything cool with it see you in a second Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I just got creepered and it was bad. So I did a second level here and I got figured out the stair thing and it's going to be a solid on this one. And then I'm working on it and a creeper walk, must have walked up this ramp and was right here and he blew up. And it's like, oh my gosh. That's so, so, so annoying. Uh, now I gotta redo this entire section here, and I need to. I, I might need to um, stop and go back and pull out the, um, the blocks that it's going to be made from because they're gonna be more blast resistant than this stuff. Uh, because these will pick up. Um, uh, I. Uh, these will pick up from whatever uh, the durability of whatever block is under them. Um, no, it's not what I want. I need a uh, lowercase one. Uh, now I need to get more flat. Uh, flat, 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 flat than the ground. And I'm probably going to end up talking to my brother and figuring out stuff with him because he's uh, getting all Greg Tech questioning and stuff. Anyway, just wanted to let you know about that setback so that you guys can experience the pain with me. I do love this, though. This looks amazing. And, oh, I have to redo this bottom layer. That's going to suck. Okay. Um, would have been one of these? No, oh, hold on. Um, yeah, this is going to take me a while to fix. It's going to be way annoying to fix. But I'll get it. I'll get it. There we go. Uh, yeah. Anyway, back in a bit. Okay, I got the creeper damage repaired, and we're now uh, almost done putting the basic block for the first layer. For the first exterior layer. I might do something different on the inside. I'm not entirely sure. Um, my brother is no longer online. Let's grab that cyan and see what that looks like. It's not quite what I wanted. 
hard and clay. Is there only one? Okay, we're, uh, no, we use it. There we go. Black. Oh, he looks like this tinnish brown. Um, let me go see what brown looks. Like. Okay, let me first see if I can't. Is it shift hammer? It is shift hammer. Um, the cyan is not what I want for the clay color. Let me go and experiment. I need to find a couple more colors. I'm probably not gonna have enough clay. That's not the door. Probably not gonna have enough clay for things. Um, what I got? Dyes are over here. Purple? What's purple look like? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to experiment. Be back in a bit. Okay, guys, another layer done. Uh, now the bottle is going to stop with its tapering inward, and we're gonna start going straight up for at least a round or two, except I'm out of, uh, pre-cooked and colored stained clay. Unless I wanna go yellow. Just, like, a band of yellow. I'll do a band of yellow. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, I might... I might have to do something tricky here with this, um... What's it called? With the door. I should probably do windows, too. Um, we'll make... We'll make all this space for windows, actually. They'll be, they'll be really large windows. Um... Yeah, why not? It's really hard judging, like, what... Oh, no. Nope. Nope. That'll be a window. Um, it's really hard ju judging exactly what you want to do with these as you're... I, I, like, I am designing this on the fly. I've got a good mental picture of what I want to build. But, um, like, the rest of it, I'm just making up as I go. Uh, I need to go in here and grab this. I did, like... I had a creeper blow up on me while I was working over here. And uh, it didn't hurt anything, but it's way annoying. Yeah, it's coming out okay. Um, it's getting to the point in the build where being able to fly would be really convenient. Uh, so I'm just hopping from uh, pillar to pillar. Um, we're going to not have that for right now. Maybe, yeah. Maybe never. Um, yeah. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can as a video goes. Uh, you know, for video length time. Because my last couple have been fairly long. This is just a building video. And, uh, I think I'm being pretty good about showing you what I'm thinking while on camera. And then just going and doing. So, and uh, honestly one of the big things about building is you have to go and do the grind because that's all I can really do for um, what's it called uh, the uh, that's all my red stained clay right now so I have to uh, go and make some more ah, quit it some more hardened stained clay but let's pull back a little bit and look at it oh yeah yeah we'll probably do two more of red and then start tapering inwards and do like another purple, red, and then yellow. And then taper back out just a little bit for the top of the spout. And then, yeah, this will look good. I might shift. You have to like shift and hold that there. Yeah, as long as I can make it oblong, that should work. So I need a lot more red. I'll probably get like a metally looking thing how's that look for oh yeah 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 that'll be what I do for that anyway uh, I am going to add a couple of layers on here I'm not still not sure what I'm doing on the inside I think I need to um, get some slab of some kind and build them off of here and just so I'll have as much room below as possible and as much room above as possible so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get caught up to there. I wish there was a carpenter's slab. There isn't. You, creeper. You are representative of all your kind. Uh, die. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I moved uh, nine stacks of oak logs from uh, inside there to inside there. And uh, yeah, so they're doing good work. Got to move any apples. Do I have apples? I just got two. That ain't too, that ain't too bad. That's cooking along like it ought to. But yeah, I am going to go and do... Oh, I have a lot of glowstone. I need to make sure to add glowstone to the build. Now, oh, that's where my tanks are. 
Okay. I have to make some more. Um, anyway. No, no, no. Sword, sword. Uh, I punch a zombie for three and a half hearts. That means I punch about as hard as an iron sword, I think? Yeah. Exit chest plates are awesome. Anyway. Back to the grind. I'll sh talk to you. I think I could get a little bit more done uh, before the next. See you when I have something interesting to say. I would like to make sure to point out that this has used a lot of red stained clay. Let me get rid of my temporary scaffold. Uh, scaffolding is getting annoying as we build taller. Um, so, yeah. I have all of these blocks. And it looks... It looks like there's less than there is, but it turns out that there's more. These walls are technically too thick, and that's really annoying. I also have a ladder coming down here. Not that I've really done anything with this space in here yet. I'm still missing. I need to get a bunch more purple. This will all be purple down here. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a lot. I've gone through a lot. This is like all the carpenter's block I have left. Where is it? Like that and that. I got like two stacks out of those like 12 stacks of them I made a couple episodes ago. So, yeah. It's a lot. Now I get to close this in, I think. You know, it's, it's tough trying to figure out what it is, what you do. That's not going to work because that's got too much... Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, I need to come like here and decide we're coming in one, and then gosh, it's so tricky because I would like that to be the thing, but I don't think that'll work. It's so hard to film, so hard to film. So yeah, I'm gonna work at it some more. Just wanted a quick progress update. Cause that's what this video is mostly gonna be. Quick progress updates. That was already one of these, or supposed to be at least. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so I figured out how to do these corner things. These sides were just threes and then the thing. But these, you drop these two things down here. Nope, nope rotate them so they look pretty. Like that, and then you grab a carpenter's collapsible block, which is pretty cool because you can hit it with a hammer and it changes its height on the one side that you hit it. And so you hit it there until that goes, and you come over here and hit that side until that goes. Now it's a wedge, and now you can hit this side, and it makes the point. And that's the shape that I needed. So now I get to do it again and figure out how to make it look pretty on the inside. I think this layer is going to be yellow, which is good because I have yellow. Hmm, yeah. Just to let you know what kind of numbers we're dealing with, this yellow ring right here took 56 stained clay. Yeah, <laughs> 56. <sighs> but. And let me just say this from a from over here perspective. That's looking good. That's looking it look like it looks like a hot air balloon, which is not what I intended. But you know what? I will allow it. Break. There we go. Let's get up here and get to bed. Yeah, it's coming along. Okay, went out and had to get some more clay. Nothing quite like watching some Star Trek and digging up some clay. Though I don't know if it'll be enough. It better be enough. That's a lot. Anyway, next layer! So, looking at it now, it comes up too steep. I need to jut up here and slowly bring it up. So, all that work right there, that 100 red clay blocks that I put into right here, I gotta take them all down. Yeah. So glad you guys aren't with me for this whole project. This would be like a two hour long thing. So, but uh, yeah, that is the current stage events. Onward. Okay, guys, I am uh, pretty much done. Just need to grab myself some supplies here. 
to stock the thing. That's the wrong slot for that. You can go in there. Um, I have my, uh, I had to make a bunch more stuff. Decided just to fill my pink backpack of building full of things. Um, orange backpack full. Oh, you're still full of things. Um, meh, we'll worry about getting all these things put away later. Uh, for now, though, let's come over here to our potion supplies. Grab a bunch of glass bottles, grab some nether wart, some blaze powder, some gas tears, golden carrots, why not? Magma cream, of course. And grab some of that and some of that. And let's grab, let me double check the recipe real quick. It's all surrounded. Is there any other way to make this? Honey drops. And gold in the thing. Okay. Yeah, you can see that. Um, let's grab a couple things of gold. Let's put that iron up. Let's come over here. Nope. I said over here. You're the wrong chest over here. You're also the wrong chest. Food chest. There we go. Um, let's check it out. I need to get, like, cobwebs and have cobwebs, like, smoking out the top, maybe. Except it's not supposed to be a chimney. I don't know. I really like how the glass came out. Kind of looks like gemstones. Got the glass here on the side, which I'm not as pleased about. I would have preferred them in the walls here now that I'm looking at it. Let's come on in. Uh, I got potions on each side. So that's cool. Down here beneath, I got myself a, uh... Stinky weed farm going on. Whoa. You okay? There we go. Um, bah, bah, bah. um Yeah. Oh, you just grew. Sweet. Um, there's a hidden chest right here. Hidden one right here in case I need it. Um, let us... Gosh. Let's dump a non-hidden chest right there. Because I got too much crap in my inventory right now. Actually, some of it is potion related, and we'll be putting it away here in a bit. But this whole... Nope. You stay here. And you also stay here, gunpowder. You needed to get put in hmm, a pouch. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's grab us uh, some uh, potion bottles from our handy-dandy infinite spring here. Okay. Let's, uh... Can I go like that? There we go. Shift-click them in. Um, we're going to get making a bunch of potions here. Okay, and another wart. And another wart. And another wart. I feel like a brewmaster. Um, crafting table. Can I reach it from here? There we go. Um, gold, gold. Where did I put that gold? I put it in that chest, didn't I? Hmm. These bottles we'll put in this safe. I totally have a carpenter safe there and there. Uh, I'm pretty sure other people can open it, but I'm not 100 on that. Um, I really should put a table up here, but um, let's grab us some gold nuggets and wrap them around a melon. And then come on up here. Um, you make a melon potion. You make a melon potion. You come over here. And make a golden carrot potion. And you over here come make a blaze potion. You done yet? You almost done? Sweet. Um, glowstone makes it level two, which I don't think we need for these since they're, you know, designed for um using the thing. But you know what? We're just gonna throw our potion ingredients in here. It's been a decently long episode, guys gonna call it an end there's still a couple potion ingredients of course that I am missing but I have a decent chunk of them right here I think you yeah you you can come with me I've spent a lot of time on this build it's not <clears throat> actually we're gonna do one more thing pop I don't know where that went pop pop now we're getting some of them back because uh, if there's one thing I know about this mod pack, lighting is important. So we're going to pull out... Um, I need my chisel. Just going to be in this backpack. 
And yep, there it is. We're gonna put our hammer up, get our chisel. We're gonna dump in the glowstone. Um, I just love the neon. It's just so smooth. Bam. Badam. Nope, I said badam. Badam. And badam. And that's all of this. And really, man, you guys are fine down here. How do you have light? Where would light coming from? I don't know. Um, there we go. Not sure where the light up here was coming from, but now I know it's coming from down there. Maybe. Um, where's my hammer? I don't really like. Um, right here, maybe. That could work. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. Just a little bit more light in here. Because I'd hate for a creeper to spawn in here and ruin all my hard work. Oh, that looks really weird. Tessellates very weirdly. But, uh, it'll work, I think. <sighs> That's it, guys. That's the potion hut. Next episode. Next, Join us next week when we will make us an ethereal bloom. See you guys, uh, you know, just uh, in case you guys haven't caught the schedule on a Wednesday, come back for a uh, mod pack uh, tutorial video and come back uh, Friday for Greg Tech. And that's what I got going on here. I'd like to get on top of there and put in some glowstone. <laughs> Almost done. Whoop. You can, in fact, fall to your doom. Um, I am going to go wabam, 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 and go douche, 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 douche. There we go. That'll keep mobs from spawning up here, I do believe. And that just looks amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining me as I'm building this today. Let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think about how I did this episode. Um, this is my first time doing like a lot of building like this off camera. Let me know what you think if there's like any colors I should change up or any weird shapes on there. Uh, I would love to know. I don't I do know that it looks like a hot air balloon just upside down. Uh, that is something that I noticed. I was going for kind of like a I dream of genie bottle without looking at any reference. That's just from memory and what I wanted to try and do. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Other than that, my name is Memnut One Cow. This has been uh Man, the one Calcraft server. If you guys stay online, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Mad Matt's Minecraft. Please, please, please do me a big favor and leave a comment down below telling me what you thought about this video, whether or not you liked it or not. Uh, it really helps me out to get that feedback from you guys. Feedback is why I tend to do this type of thing. If I like go like this, kind of looks like I'm talking a little bit. Yeah, no, not really. Okay, if you don't like leaving YouTube comments because, you know, YouTube comments having stigma or the fact that the new Google Plus system makes commenting a little bit difficult, if you don't have a username, please go down in the link below in the information. I set up a subreddit specifically for the type of stuff that I do. Um... And yeah, so that's my personal subreddit there. And you can uh, post things, uh, leave a question for me. I love answering questions in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, please leave me a comment. I love that stuff. Peace out.